Kathleen G'day. So first of all, just set the scene for us. Uh, this, the, uh, the regulator stood up for th with this media conference day and th was that the first time we've seen the report? This there was the release of the Bell inquiry? That's right. So uh, Adam Bell SC conducted a lengthy public inquiry earlier this year and people might recall hearing those allegations of money laundering and organised crime links. There was video at the time of a, a junket operator which was a uh, operating within the casino, having bags of money taken in and out of this room, which is effectively um, sort of operating as a small casino within the casino. And of course, bags of cash moving in and out of a casino throws up a lot of red flags. So this inquiry, uh, that, that went on for some weeks, and this inquiry, the final report was handed to the Independent Commission uh, for the Casinos uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's been released this morning and it has found that the, comp the Star Casino Company is not suitable, uh, has not been suitable and is still no, no longer suitable to hold a licence in New South Wales. Now it hasn't made any specific recommendations about what should happen because that's not within its terms of reference but it found that there was a number of extremely serious governance, risk management and cultural failures um, occurring during and before the period review. It said there was a failure to report in relation to China Union pay and serious misconduct by a junket operator, which was what I was referring to earlier. And they said that this was a manifestation of a culture where business goals took priority over compliance goals. It also found the star treated the New South Wales Independent, Independent Liquor and Gaming Authority with disdain as an impediment to be worked around and that it misled the authority as well. So we've heard from the Chief Commissioner this morning, Philip Crawford, here's a bit of what he had to say. There's no one individual who is masterminding the conduct and attitude of the Star Casino in operating its casino licence. Uh, I think all of the directors, the current directors, were asked during the inquiry to identify what went wrong. Where did this go wrong? And there was a certain commonality about their response. And I think all of them said in one way or another that they failed to have a fresh set of eyes looking at what they were doing. They had a chairman who'd been on the board for 14 or 15 years, who'd been chairman for nine years. And a lot of them had been on the board for something in the order of seven or eight years. But there'd been no fresh set of eyes assessing what they were doing. The casino regulator boss, Philip Crawford, speaking there in Sydney just in the last hour or so with dr this dramatic news about Star Casino. And Kathleen, he was obviously really frustrated at ongo the ongoing, mm. uh, what he described as kind of a appalling attitudes of some of the people at Star. Mm. And so Star has been sent this show cause notice now. Just take us through what happens with the process now. That's right. So the Star will have 14 days to respond to the findings of this report if they wish to. And then the Commission will reconvene to consider those submissions and then decide on the next course of action. Now, Philip Crawford said this morning that considering the findings of this report, doing nothing is not an option and there are a few disciplinary measures on the table. He said it's not a matter of um, if they'll be severe, but more how severe they'll be. And he said they could be the revocation or the suspension of the licence, fines or a combination of but those. But it sounds like he was very conscious of the fact that there are 8,000 people who work mm. there and the vast majority of them have done nothing wrong. That's right. And he said that uh, uh, there has been some change in the leadership, which we've seen over recent times. He said there are some specific people named, but uh, in terms of the senior executives remaining, they have been found to be suitable people to, to stay at STAR. Um, and he, he did say that at the commencement of the inquiry and then again at the end, the STAR gave um, submissions as to why it was now suitable to hold a casino licence while admitting that it had previously not been. Uh, but that Mr Bell did not agree with that. So that's why the star now has to come back again and say what they're going to do next. So here's a bit of what Philip Crawford had to say about that. This dubious conduct has been continuing even as long ago as when we set up the Bergen inquiry and some of the conduct has even continued post setting up the Bell inquiry. And in fact, the submissions made by a number of individuals from the STAR at the commencement of the STAR inquiry um, have, by the end of the inquiry, proved to be completely false and an attempt to mislead Mr Bell.
in the conduct of the inquiry. Philip Crawford speaking there this morning. And Kathleen, my mind goes back a, a year or two to a similar dramatic media conference mm. with Philip Crawford once again talking about the issues at Crown as well. So there are, there are ongoing very serious issues with the casino industry in Australia. Yeah, it's really interesting. Obviously, the situation with Crown in Sydney was that that casino was not yet operating. So they were not allowed to begin. Uh, the, while, the, while the hotel part of the casino did open, they were not allowed to begin gaming. Um, and Mr Crawford made the point this morning that it took Crown 18 months to get to a point uh, where the authority was willing to give them a provisional licence. He said that in this instance he expects Star will take just as long, if not longer, to rectify the issues that have been identified. And he made the comment that they have inspectors going into Star Casino at the moment and he has still has ongoing concerns about what he called institutional arrogance and a lack of uh, acknowledgement of the importance of transparency that he thinks are going to take some uh, serious cultural change to address. And the regulator has more power now than he did uh, when the after the Crown inquiry? Well they they will have to go away and um, consider what will be their next steps. It, yeah. it is a new commission now they've been uh, it's been turned into a Independent Casino Commission, uh, so the the powers have changed and slightly. The too, yeah. uh, yes, he was discussing the exact. Um, it's it's in the huge, huge amounts of yeah. money, tens of millions, hundreds of millions yeah. of dollars. So um, it, there are yeah, the, there is a capacity to make huge fines. Mm. That that is correct. Um, but yes, well, obviously there'll be some interest in two weeks' time as to exactly what action they'll be taking. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave there, Kathleen Calderwood. Thanks.